My name is Gabriella Hollow, and I currently live with six Siberian Huskies, but that number is constantly changing, usually upwards. The Siberian Husky as a breed, as its name suggests, comes from Siberia, it was the Chukchi tribe thousands of years ago, who began to breed this breed. It is very very important that the instinct stock that was in the Siberian Husky, I is still present in them up to this day. In fact, it is very easy to go through why it happened, because any habits or instincts that may bother us today can be linked here to their origins. The Chukchis needed a working dog who on the one hand, works very economically, so it can be fed with little food, which is typical to this day. On the other hand, it has a very good load earring capacity, and is very good at pulling loads that are not very heavy at medium speeds in the long run. They are able to work in a team, they did not start a journey with one piece of husky on the taiga, but with eight or ten dogs. On the one hand, it was important that they had to get along very well with the breed companions, as they could not afford to buy or bring a new dog from somewhere so that they could not put him in the group to work, because there would be a fight instead of work. Those who started to fight with other dogs were specifically deselect immediately, usually with an axe, so selection was really serious at that time. These dogs had to be very nice to people too, as they also used them as a bed warmers. The Chukchis had a saying, they determined how cold it was by how many dogs needed to warm up the beds, how many dogs did it take to warm them in bed enough to get through the night. The Huskies are also very friendly with man and dog, and they have a very good carrying capacity. Up to these days their character is the so-called intelligent disobedience and characterized by a high degree of independence. This was necessary because the driver who was on the sled was not in close contact with the very first dog who was the guide dog, he could not physically influence them, and the driver did not see what the dogs saw in front of them. So on the one hand, he could only control them with words, on the other hand, he couldn't afford to tell the dogs any further. They know that, in a given case, the ice will no longer be able to bear them, then they will obviously not bring themselves and their master into certain death they will end up until they find a way that was right. This extraordinary autonomy is still there in the husky to this day, so we always need to know in advance what they will figure out in a given situation, how they will react and we need to react sooner depending on whether it is desirable to us or not. On top of all these, they are not an easy breed, moreover, they have an incredible hunting instinct. This phenomenon is also explained by their origin as the Chukchis did not feed the whole pack of dogs during the short, but warm summers, only with the exception of one or two most important leaders. So it was obvious that they had to hunt, when the cold came again, the dogs had to work again, then the Chukchis started to gather them. In them, this hunting instinct is incredibly strong, especially at home in our own garden, Unfortunately we can observe that nothing survives, from lizards to gliders to pockets, unfortunately even kittens can fall prey. Obviously, you can get used to a husky from a young age for a kitten, but then you have to do it consciously, but as adults, they do not tolerate an alien cat or bird, or any other small animals. Or one more very important thing, the crazy desire for freedom, and the worship of running. That's what explains why most Siberian Huskies are never able to walk without a leash. Not only in the city or in open spaces, but also in the woods. They are intoxicated on such a level of joy because they are free to run that they neither see nor hear, just rush like a fool. That wasn't a problem in the taiga, but today, when we live in cities, when we have to be afraid of cars, trains, possibly other stray dogs, other small animals, this is especially dangerous. I don't mean to say that you can't teach a Siberian Husky to come back, but you need to know that whoever buys this dog, it requires a lot more energy from him, a much more conscious and consistent upbringing from the very first moment we take the little dog home. The Siberian Husky is an extremely stubborn dog. It's not enough for them to get tired physically their brains need a workout as well. If we do not care enough with them and do not give tasks to them, they can be very, very destructive. This is when they dig up the garden, take the irrigation system to pieces, prune back the whole tree, pull out the flowers. Inside the apartment, the sofa is disassembled into tiny little cofferdams, the curtain is torn off, there was someone who smashed a door specifically. The latter is not my own experience, but according to others, I have heard and seen it in videos and pictures. 
The irrigation system, for example, is my own experience. They need a good fence, in which case that smooth wire fence is not enough. It is also very important that this is a very free-spirited animal breed. You should be aware that this dog is not a garden ornament, and does not like very strict rules. If we set up very strict rule around them, they can be very unhappy this way, and of course we do not buy and keep a dog to make him unhappy afterwards. It's also basically very important that the Siberian Husky alone feels awfully bad. It's best to have another dog next to them, it's not absolutely necessary for the other dog to be a Husky, just a dog, a normal dog. It can also be appropriate for them if they feel that they are part of the family family, part of the human pack with whom he or she practically lives. It can be very useful to go to a dog school, especially for novice husky owners, because they can be motivated quite differently than another dog breeds. You have to learn this, and for this purposes, there is no better place than a dog school. The important thing is that we should learn to work together with the dog, and for that we really need to look for a dog school who know the specialties of huskies. They need very active, conscious and consistent owners as well as plenty of sense of humor, because it's a pretty, in quotes, crazy and funny breed. They can produce very funny things, and if we have a sense of humor we can have fun, and a great time with the husky. However, if we do not and do these things badly, then we must definitely choose another breed.